Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I have the Happily Ever After book tag. So this tag was created by my friend, the lovely Rachel Marie, and she tagged me to do this for you guys. I will link her original video and her channel in the description below. You should really go check her out. She's a great person. She makes really fun content. She does bookish videos, obviously, as well as mental health and discussions. And she's also crazy supportive and really active on Twitter. This tag takes 10 scenarios from Disney films with blanks. I have my Strange the Dream mug filled with characters. And I pick a character for every blank and then we discuss how that character would act in the scenario. But now that I've explained it to you, let's just get into it. So first up we have Sleeping Beauty, so I will just select my character. So I have Amran from A Court of Mist and Fury. As Princess Amran storms the castle, they are attacked by a ferocious dragon. Will they have the courage to save the one they love? This is difficult because Amran is a very loyal person, but she also just has her own agenda. She is an ancient creature. And I guess she's used to a lot of loss and seeing a lot of people die. So if she truly, truly loves this person, she will go to the ends of the earth. So I think that she will have the courage to save her love because what's a dragon when compared to Amran? The next one is The Little Mermaid and I have... Manon from Throne of Glass. Manon is really half fish. Will Prince Eric still love her? Okay, so this is hard because Prince Eric, he may still love Manon if he loved us to start off with. I don't think they're a very good match romantically, like Manon would eat him alive. And I definitely know that the other way around, Manon definitely would not love Prince Eric if he was still half fish. I'm probably gonna say no because Manon being half fish will probably make her very grumpy. And then Eric will see what she's really like and probably not love her. Number three is Aladdin. Mr. Kindly from Nevernight. Okay, this is gonna be weird. Prince Mr. Kindly finds out Aladdin was really a rogue. Will they still fall for him? Mr. Kindly wouldn't be opposed to rogues because after all, he's a shadow cat that belongs to Mia who is an assassin and very morally gray. I'm not sure how Mr. Kindly would react to deception because I'm pretty sure he can't be deceived because he sneaks around in the shadows and find things out. If Aladdin did manage to deceive him and Mr. Kindly had no idea that he was a rogue, then I'm not sure if he would be impressed or annoyed. I'm gonna say that Mr. Kindly probably wouldn't still fall for Aladdin because he'd probably be seriously irritated that Aladdin managed to outsmart him because Mr. Kindly is sarcastic and sassy and thinks he knows everything. So I'm gonna say that one's a no. Beauty and the Beast. Bellatrix from Harry Potter. The Beast starts to show his soft side and Bellatrix can see his vulnerabilities. Would they react the same or trick him to escape? Okay, so Bellatrix is really not going to put up with the beast and his soft side. She definitely would like him more as a big grizzly evil beast. So I'm going to say that no, she would not react the same. She would be very angry and would probably want him dead. The Lion King. Kaol from Throne of Glass. Kaol realises Simba has been alive in the Outlands all this time. Will they be able to forgive him? Okay, so Kaol is loyal. He has a lot of pride. He always likes to think that he's doing the right thing, even though a lot of the times he isn't. And he can be very stubborn. I'm gonna say with the way that he reacts to Selena and sort of discovering more things about her, that he probably won't be able to forgive Simba for lying to him all that time and not letting him know where he was. So yeah, Kaol is probably gonna be stubborn and bitter and mean about it. And that's not gonna be... That's not gonna be a happily ever after, unfortunately. Cinderella. Evangeline from Red Queen. Princess Evangeline discovers that Cinderella was the girl at the ball, but she appears to be a maid. Will they still want her? So Evangeline is rich and spoiled and she likes it that way. So I'm going to say that Evangeline would be disgusted. I mean, Evangeline ends up only liking Mare because she's a means to an end and they sort of have the same purpose and goal that they're working towards, even though it is for different reasons. So I'm gonna say that Evangeline is gonna ditch Cinderella as soon as she knows that she isn't a princess because Evangeline is definitely looking for somebody with a bit of status and a bit of money to combine with her own status and money and sustain her. So once again, not happily ever after. Mulan. Chuck Bass from Gossip Girl. Mulan is discovered impersonating a male warrior by Chuck Bass. 
Will she even survive the night? This kind of depends. It depends if Chuck has anything to gain from this because he is the king of schemes. So if he feels like by selling Mulan out he can gain something, he's definitely going to do that. However, maybe there's something more for him to gain by going along with it and helping her out. So I don't know, that one's an undecided. I'm not sure how that will work out. My personal favourite Disney film, Tangled. Tamlin from A Court of Thorns and Roses. As Mother Gothel stabs Eugene and attempts to escape, will Tamlin agree to lifelong captivity in return for saving Eugene? Or will they just seek their own freedom? If Tamlin is in love with Eugene, then I think that he would sell his freedom so that Eugene could be free. And then Tamlin also like later on has this whole martyr thing going, so he just wants to be miserable, so he'd definitely do it then as well. So yeah, you know, I think I think Tamlin would give up his own freedom for Eugene. So I'm going with a happily ever after on this one. We only have two left now. <laughs> Lady and the Tramp. Daenerys Targaryen. Daenerys angrily confronts the Tramp about his past girlfriends and failure to rescue them from the pound. It's funny that Daenerys would be in the pound. <laughs> But will they ever be able to forgive him? I think Daenerys is strong because she has to be, but she does have a bit of a soft side. So as long as Tramp's not going to threaten her kingdom or it's not going to alienate her followers by forgiving Tramp, I think that she would do it. I mean, she has done some pretty harsh things, but she tends to always do the right thing. Cause she's like the freer of slaves and breaker of chains and things like that. So I think... I think we could see some reconciliation between Daenerys and Trump and maybe have a happily ever after. And then lastly, we have Hercules and the last one, ironically in the Strange the Dreamer mug, is Sarai from Strange the Dreamer. Sarai is given the ultimate choice to save the soul of the girl she loves, even though she was working with Hades. What will she decide? So Sarai is really sweet. She's really cute. She wants to be in love. She wants to be wanted and she wants to belong. So I think she would save the soul of the girl that she loves because she's just that kind of person. She's probably the nicest person I put in this entire thing. So I think that this is the one that's pretty much guaranteed a happily ever after. So that's it for the happily ever after tag. Please let me know down below if you liked my character choices. I am going to tag Heather from The Happy Booktuber, Dora from Confessing My Reads, and Liv from Read by Liv, because I know that she really loves fairy tales, so she'd have a fun time with this tag. But that is everything from me today. Please don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to. If you head into my description box, you'll find a link to my Goodreads, Instagram, and Twitter. If you'd like to follow me on any of those, as well as a link to my Bookish Body Butter and Candle website, the Instagram for that, and a 10% off discount code. But that's it from me today. Bye! Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate you say you will go where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no